Now, I think it's absolutely fair to say and really apparent at this point that 2023 was absolutely the worst year of all time for the Walt Disney Company, not just due to the fact that they had multiple box office failures one after the other for different divisions across the board, but also due to the fact that it was their 100th year anniversary and they were being mocked by those like South Park Studios, The Daily Wire, Elon Musk, and that's just the start of it all. And now they're dealing with Nelson Peltz. I mean, Disney has a lot of things on their plate that they really are trying to handle simultaneously. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So, Pirates of the Caribbean, all right, the first five movies that starred Johnny Depp throughout the years are the true Pirates of the Caribbean films. We already know now, officially by Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer of things, of course, over at Disney, has now officially come forward that this is indeed going to now be a hard reboot instead of a soft reboot, as initially promised. Now, what's interesting about this has a lot to do with the fact that they are indeed excluding Johnny Depp. This is going to be a Pirates of the Caribbean film that has nothing to do with Captain Jack Sparrow. Let me just make that very vivid at this point to everyone. Now, what's interesting about Bob Iger is that he is beginning to freak out about the ongoing backlash related to this new iteration of Pirates of the Caribbean that's going to basically be a reimagining of what it once was. Now, look, I would argue to say that the first three Pirates films are the only good ones. I really do feel like they fell off with the last two that came out under Disney. That's just my perception of it all. However, on top of this, Ever since Bob Iger's cause containment plan was greenlit, it has been wreaking havoc on the funding for all divisions at the Walt Disney Company for their upcoming projects. One major development has to do with Bob Iger and his defense of the upcoming reboot of Pirates of the Caribbean. Bob Iger went on to deliver the following. As CEO of the Walt Disney Company, I would like to address and pick up where Mr. Bruckheimer left off that we agree officially focusing, of course, on the sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean to becoming a full-fledged reboot that will allow us to move on from Mr. Depp in his iconic role as Captain Jack Sparrow. This is also allowing us to start with a clean slate where our sixth installment will now focus on the insertion of diversity, equity, and inclusion and how important this will be for the upcoming story created by Mr. Mason. We find this to be a necessary move within the Pirates series of the films and we here at Disney find it to be very damaging by those that hold the belief or perception that our focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion has something to do with a form of agenda or anything like that. I cannot stress this enough, but that is not what Disney is about. We do not and never will engage in any kind of a culture war, and nor does our support and insertion of DEI into the new Pirates installment have anything to do with that. Our usage of DEI is nothing more than a strategy for us here at the Walt Disney Company to reach a wider global audience. Our number one goal with this film is to obtain a powerful cast that comes from different backgrounds and ethnicities to make our new Pirates reboot the most relatable film in the franchise. We ask everyone to keep their inflammatory opinions for themselves about our new Pirates project that is now just entering into its development phase. We will have the most diverse cast out of all the Pirates films. Going in, we knew it was important that we had to create a character that would carry the same essence and spirit as Captain Jack Sparrow, and we believe we found the right actress to fit the role after careful and steady research for the story and the plot. Mr. Mason has done such a wonderful job to replace Mr. Depp's iconic role as Captain Jack Sparrow for a new character to take that place in this new world, and we expect some level of customers that grew up with these films to remain opposed to our direction with this new Pirates film. However, thanks to our analysts, we have come to the conclusion that they are a small margin of our customers, and we don't have any level of concern about the reception related to this film as we aim to go into full production some time by the end of this year. Now guys, let me just pause here before I move on about Bob Iger's nonsense way of thinking. Now, as far as I'm concerned, let me just say one little thing here. No Johnny, no pirates. Repeat after me. That is true. 
No Johnny Depp, no Captain Jack Sparrow, no Pirates of the Caribbean. It does not work. This is like taking the Terminator out of a Terminator film or taking, of course, a character like Superman out of a Superman movie. It's not going to work at all. That's how iconic the role of Captain Jack Sparrow really is in the Pirates world, if you will. And once you strip that character out of the equation, it's nothing more than just, well, another pirate movie. It's not truly the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise that was created by the Walt Disney Company. So again, uh, Bob Iger, Jerry Bruckheimer, uh, Craig Mazin, who is the one that created the script, by the way. He was a part of The Last of Us by HBO. Interestingly enough, this story, all right, this sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean went through so many revisions. At first, it was going to be all female-led, then that got scrapped. Now, basically, what it is is that they want three female leads with a mixture of other characters coming from different backgrounds, ethnicities, and beliefs, and stuff around those lines. So, it's kind of like a mix, but it's also focusing on DEI further to a degree that we have never seen before in anything Disney related. That's how crazy Bob Iger is becoming right now. He's the one that talks about quieting down the noise. He's the one that talks about how supporting DEI is not an agenda or any form of an ideology is a true lie right there. I mean, it just goes to show you how ignorant Bob Iger really is, how out of reach with reality he truly is as well. So moving on forward, he goes on to conclude, any of our customers spreading that the Walt Disney Company and our support for DEI is any form of an agenda or ideology in our new Pirates project is nothing more than a negative response from that same small margin that we have no concern about also in the short and long term once we release our newest installment in the Pirates franchise. We don't always need Mr. Depp to create a successful Pirates film, and we are going to show everyone that. We are once again going to model this film and its story on the ride with a brand new spin on the tale thanks to Mr. Mason from the Last of Us HBO hit series and he is always welcome with new projects on the table that we are actively discussing. Oh boy, so they want Craig Mazin for other projects. Now, could this very well signal that they are already on board with Pirates of the Caribbean reboot sequels? It could very well be. We talked about this a couple of months ago, that they were already in the talks of creating this into a full-fledged trilogy right off the bat, which is crazy because you don't even know how this film is going to do to begin with. Well, interestingly enough, again, we know that Craig Mazin did say that this is going to be the wackiest Pirates of the Caribbean story yet, and that he was shocked that Disney bought his script. Now, this sounds very similar to Nia DaCosta and what she said about the Marvels, that this was going to be the wackiest and cr craziest story within the MCU, and look how that turned out to be. Look what kind of reception that got, you know? I think that's the kind of pattern that Disney needs to realize. Maybe you don't buy a script from someone like Craig Mazin that's doing a wacky and crazy story for the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Just a little tip there, Mr. Bob Iger. But overall, guys, I would love to hear what everyone has to say about this ongoing backlash related to Pirates of the Caribbean reboot or Pirate 6 whatever have you, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later.